Hi, I'm Erin from the Serenette Clarksville District Library, and we are going to make tissue paper mugs as part of our 2020-2021 Fall and Winter Adult Programming. So you've picked up your kit from the library, hopefully, and inside your kit you will have instructions, a plain mug, various tissue paper, dishwasher safe Mod Podge, and a sponge brush. So while you're watching this video, take your time. You can pause whenever you need to. Go at your own pace and do your best. All right, so gather the supplies and then choose what design you wanna put on your mug. So there's a lot of different good ones in here. I like these yellow flowers. Maybe a little retro. So I cut some of them out earlier so we could just streamline the video. So I just cut them out a little bit like that. You could just, you know, however you want. Here's another example. You know, it's just an abstract kind of thing. Put that there so you can see it. Um, all right, so first thing we're gonna do is open your Mod Podge after you've prepared your tissue paper. So open your Mod Podge, and we're gonna work in small sections so the Mod Podge doesn't dry. Um, if you're gonna put a big thing on here, like this is wrapped all the way around, I would paint the whole thing and put that on first. But I'm doing little guys, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge and paint it on my mug. I probably, I wouldn't advise going all the way up to where you're gonna the edge where you're going to drink with your design just because that might be kind of weird on your mouth but you can if you want so we're just going to paint show you close up so we're just going to paint the Mod Podge on there and then place our little tissue paper over it you can use the brush to kind of Smooth it out on there. All right. Get any edges down. You want it to be smooth. All right. So we're going to do that all over the mug. So the instructions say paint a thin coat onto the mug and press your, press your tissue paper onto the wet glue. Work in small patches so the glue doesn't dry while applying the paper. And so carefully smooth any wrinkles with your brush or you can use your finger, but it's gonna be wet, so be careful not to rip the tissue paper. So continue all around until all the tissue paper you want is put where you want. So then when that's done, place it to dry for at least 20 minutes. And then when it, the mug feels dry to the touch, Put on another coat, a little bit thicker than your first one, all over the mug where the tissue paper is. And make sure all the little corners are down because if you have a little corner that's a flappy, it'll water will get in there and it won't be as dishwasher safe as you would like. Um, so once that's done, let it dry one to two hours and then come back and put another final coat on it. So that would be three coats. And then if you do want to use it in the dishwasher, the instructions say, let the mug dry for 28 days to cure before you're able to use it in the top rack of your dishwasher only. So if you do want the, um, to use it in the dishwasher, and if you're curious, you could probably Google how the Mod Podge um, label, or you can just uh, come into the library and ask us, and we'll have copies of that. Or um, just hand wash it. I hand wash most of my mugs, anyways. So there you go. You have some options with that. So thanks for coming. 
and watching um, our 2020-2021 Fall and Winter Adult Programming video at the Serenette Clarksville District Library. Enjoy!